This segment is sponsored by the Potawatomi Zoo. Well, it is a wild Wednesday and very wild right here. And look at that. You can kind of see a sneak peek. Mrs. Travis and Josh is here. Yes. Um, but you said Mrs. Travis has not been out in a while. So she She's... is a little wiggly. <laughs> you know what? So they're like snakes when they're warm. They're very, very active. And when I got oh. her this morning, she was basking under her light. And oh. she is she is living life this morning. She's had her coffee. She's, so. she's ready to roll. She's doing okay right now. But she's I hear okay. this kind of noise she's making, and I wouldn't really call it a hiss, but what would you really kind it's of just call kind, it? It is, is like it's, a heavy breathing? Yeah, it's just kind of a heavy breathing. Kind yeah. of a, It is a little bit of a hiss. She's just checking out her environment here. She is. And when the tongue does emerge i mean it is lengthy and long black <laughs> yeah, right is. i think she could tell that the camera was on because she's like now i'm ready i know go. good yeah you guys should you should have seen her just a little bit ago i was oh, i was kind of wrestling josh her a was doing a full-on steve Irwin uh <laughs> to make sure that mrs travis was feeling comfortable on the hometown living set um she's been here before she has she has uh but we're talking a little bit look at this here we go because she doesn't yeah, really look i don't want this tail up from the face. outside looking in like she's wiggling a lot but the muscles i mean I mean, this is a strong oh, she is. lizard. Yeah, so this is a black throat monitor. She's from Africa. Um, they're one. They're. I mean, they're not as big as um, like a Komodo dragon, but they are one of the largest lizard species that are out there. So it's actually called a monitor. Monitor. monitor so we lizard. would not call a monitor lizard. It's a monitor lizard. Monitor yeah, it's a type of lizard. Oh, I love that noise. I know we we should have put a mic on on Mrs. Travis. But also, if you can kind of see a little bit while Josh is trying to make her super comfortable, she's shedding. She is shedding. So a you lot. Know, so you know how look. snakes will shed oh, completely out of their skin. Yeah, you can hold that oh, up. Oh, look at that. <laughs> yeah. So they don't shed their skin like a snake would and just peel it off. It like comes off uh -huh. in little pieces like that. So yeah. I don't know if I love that. <laughs> you were kind of helping her out a little bit, getting yep, some of that yep. off. And I mean, I have a dog at home, and so there's fur, but this is a whole new. <laughs> That is a whole new thing. <laughs> well, cool. last weekend was a record-breaking zoo boom. Oh, it was event. insane. Over 50, so we had 15,724 people in three days. It was insane. We had 7,000 people on Saturday. Which is incredible. It was incredible. And the best part is we had traffic control and everything. Mm. We had so many people saying it was one of the best zoo boos they've ever been. We've never had that many people in the zoo. We were parking people across the park. We um, There was hardly ever a line in the front. The treat trail line got a little bit long, but even that was about a 30-minute wait. So. It, which is, uh, which, which comparatively for 7, to other, for 7,000 people, <laughs> you might need to take a minute. I mean, but you were prepared to have a lot of people come out this year in support, which is why you opened it up to multiple days throughout the weekend. We did. So we spread bravo it out. to the yeah. zoo and your entire team for making it an, a welcoming experience because sometimes that might be the first opportunity of families coming out to the zoo. We want you all to become members. So the zoo does a really great job of making sure that these events are as smooth as possible. That's such a focus of yours. If there's it ever was, a little- It was, and we had a, char we, so we charged, so members were $6 mm -hmm. and um, and because we consider it a fundraising event. And it, it was, and you know, we were a little worried about that, but people were understanding, you know, the zoo's purchased, like I said, 160,000 pieces of candy. We had to buy all that. Mm -hmm. So it was over $20,000 worth of candy. Um, we have to pay the staff, you know, we have to feed the animals. The, I can't tell you how expensive these new drafts are to feed. Oh, they're a little pricey. <laughs> they're a little pricey, so but they're you, well yeah, worth yeah. it. So when you come to Zubu, you're helping feed all those ah! animals. You're helping pay the staff. You're helping run the zoo. You're so helping it's, it's to exciting. run the zoo. Mrs. Travis is like kind She's of She's doing good now, yes. Calm down a little <laughs> bit, but there's still a few more days left in which you can come out and enjoy the zoo because it's going to be I taking know. a pause because you have other events coming up that we'll talk about later. Gift of Lights is always on our radar. Yep. But the last day to visit the zoo is the 31st. It's the 31st. Monday. I cannot believe the season's over. We have one I more week. Either. And this weekend's weather looks good. So if you have, so a lot of the animals will be out. If you haven't been to the zoo this year, come check it out um, yeah. because when gift of lights come it's gonna be pretty cold you're not gonna see a lot it's gonna be more about the, the lights It's more about the lights it's and the hot cocoa the Santa yeah. kind of steals the, the the show a little bit but definitely come out this weekend it's gonna be beautiful weather all the way through Monday so if you want to be a part of the zoo experience come check it out in person and of course your membership is a full year so even if you get a membership on the last day of the open season for 2022 it still works all the way through next summer. It's a one year membership, which is fantastic. So give them a call 574-235-9800. Check out PottawatomiZoo.org or follow them on Facebook.